Welcome back to the Grid Culture. I hope everybody's having a great day. Like I always say, if you uh, at the end of this video, if you like the commentary, feel free to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Let's talk about these NFL running backs and the conversation that's been going on uh, regarding their contracts. It's a conversation about ours what there is what they're receive, receiving is it fair their value has dropped so their opportunity or the uh, likelihood of them getting these long-term contracts has diminished not even you know even the yearly salary is has diminished also let's talk about it is what's happening to them is it fair you have guys like looked at the career of Ezekiel Elliott. He uh, got his contract, but you see where he's at now. You know, it's, it's, he can't even find a team to get on. He was one of the top running backs uh, probably about five to six years ago. I think dude had about 1,800 yards one season. It's a different league. It's a more pass-happy league. It used to be the running back used to be the MV, mainly the MVP. He'd win the MVP every year. You had to have a great running back, a star running back that could take those uh, 400, 300, 400 carries per year and get you about um, five yards of carry on each one and give you the, the, hit, the home run, the breakout run, touchdown. You needed that on your squad. But within, with the all of the changes that's come with the whole CTE scandal, so you can't hit players the same and, you know, the receivers, you can't get hit them across the middle. They have to be able to come down with the ball and everything like that. And you can't touch the quarterback. It's created, it's in turn created a more pass-happy league. And not only, you know, on top of that, the quarterbacks have also uh, gotten even more talented. The game has evolved, so it's 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 made it a more pass happy league, and your running back has to do a lot more. They have to be able to block, and they have to be able to uh, catch out of the backfield also. Um, the running back has the shortest i probably the shortest lifespan out of any position in football i think last time i checked it was about three or three and a half years is the average lifespan of a running back in the nfl that's small that doesn't even last out the rookie contract and then on top of that uh these front offices these coaches there's obviously a consensus agreement that they believe that they can get similar production. There might be a slight drop off, but they can get similar production from their running back for their running back to do what they need them to do in their offense and their offense still operate well. I mean, look at these Super Bowl teams out of the past, you know, out of the past few years, out of the past 10 years. None of them outside of probably the Seahawks I can think off the top of my head none of them have had top running backs now they still have to have run production they have to have production that works but they're able to alternate through running backs and have you know the next man up type of mentality and then they you know they produce when it's playoff time but none of these guys are top running backs There's, there's not a huge drop-off. And it seems the perception is, is, hell, running backs are a dime of a dozen. So if this one here is wanting this huge contract or he's wanting, you know, a, a high salary every year, hell, we can sub him out. We can do without him. I mean, you see where Dalvin Cook is at? Hell, they even, they're doing the Saquon Barkley. Hell, we can do without him and we can get somebody cheaper possibly get two guys like that and have a good rotation and keep them as fresh as possible instead of you know this guy who wants all these touches and you know he's liable to be hurt you're cycling through these running backs and like i said 
The perception is there's if they come a dime a dozen. I think this is a storm that these running backs are going to have to go through. I think it's going to come back around full circle. I think a lot of these coaches are going to realize they're going to need some of these top guys because there is a a gap. But there's going to have to be reached some agreement reached. There's only so much with the salary cap that you can work with. And you have to be able to pay these other skill positions also. And there may be a larger gap in these other skill positions, um, like wide receiver. It's where wide receiver, you have a wide receiver that's able to create space, create separation, you know, the quarterback position, linemen, cornerbacks, stuff like that. There's just it's a little bit more rare to find that type of guy who can change the game than it is for a running back. It's just that's how value works. That's how the market works. It's not about fair or not. And there's no feeling should be involved. Football is a business. You can't take any of this personal. Something that should be understood before they even get into the league. So the running backs are going to have to go through this storm that they're enduring right now. They're going to have to, you know, just play, you know, give it your all. Separate yourself. And the game will dictate the wins. The victories will dictate, you know, the production. It's going to dictate if the value goes back up and if the coaches and the GMs realize that this is what we need on our team and we need to pay these guys. But it's all going to be it's all going to be dependent on the results. Can't be mad at the results. If they're able to win and get wins cuz at the end of the day that's this is what it's all about is about wins. If they're able to get wins without paying you know having these highly paid running backs or giving these long extensions to these running backs to where they're eating up cap space and there's not even a guarantee that this guy will be there because of all the wear and tear. <laughs> Why would they take that chance? You have wear and tear and, it's, and your value comes it seems like you come a dime a dozen that's how anything works even outside of sports or anything that's how everything works in the real world the more rare a talent the more rare anything anything is the higher value it is the 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 less ability that you know if it's people aren't able to obtain it easily and there's a lot of pursuers. <laughs> it's going to be high value. So we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes within the next few years. And if, you know, if some of these coaches realize, hey, we, we need that top guy. We need that Derrick Henry type of player, that Christian McCaffrey type of player, Josh Jacobs, Saquon Barkley. He's a, a shit. I think they should be paid, you know, but like I said, it makes sense on what the coaches and those front offices are the front offices are doing. It makes total sense to me. It's all about the market. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. But I'm out of here. <laughs>